Hello, Zakira here. So, Marriage Dragons has given us a Valentine's surprise for free, which was a bundle that contained a couple of sweet cocoa blooms, which when you tap on those, you get the choco dipped berries. And there was prism flowers and whatnot in there as well. So, are you fondue enough of that chocolate and those fountains to go into the shop and spend precious gems let's find out so the rosy chocolate bundle starts out at 20 gems and it caps at 40. i'll buy one to show you what was inside that and the passionate valentine's bundle price does not increase on that one i've already got one on the map to show you the contents of that as well so let's start off with the rosy chocolate bundle inside of that Every time you'll get a crocopie dragon egg and you'll get another one of those sweet cocoa blooms, which will have again, those chocolate dipped berries in them. And then inside of that passionate Valentine's bundle, you get a golden heart dragon whelp, a bonbon dragon whelp, a brilliant prism flower. That's the level seven. Another one of those sweet cocoa blooms and a nice glowing dragon tree. All right, so these are not harvestable. You have to merge them up in order to get further along that chain. The fruits, exquisite art here. When we merge those up, you want to five merge them because when you five merge, you also get gold coins. And then we can merge even these up, the gold dipped berries. Now first, let's look at this chain. So there's only three things in that chain. So when we merge these, we're going to get something else. Let's five merge those. We got prism flower seeds, which I've got the wonders for, and magic coins gold. All right, so we'll go ahead and merge those up. Now, do you want to continue this chain? It is four, or it's 10 items long. And just bear in mind, you're going to start by getting level fours every time out of that. So each time starting at 20, you'll go up by one until it caps at 40. So bear that in mind when you're spending on these. And this is what the chain looks like as you go up through. The type of berry gets better as you go along, but again, you only get one or two. So I have also bought dimensional jars so that we can get to that wonder. Let's check out the wonder now. A towering monument to all things sweet. Wonder number 20. All right, so here we go. This is the level nine. And when you tap on that, you get directly the gold dipped berries. All right, let's merge them. Yes, I know I'm only doing a three merge. So there we go. That's the wonder. That dimensional jar is gonna cost 600 gems if you decide you want it, if you get one. And this says to tap on it. There's a golden heart dragon egg, prism flower level four. There's another tap. There's another prism flower and another egg. Another of the prism flowers and another golden heart dragon egg. Another egg, another prism flower. And there's another egg and a smaller prism flower. Another egg. And there's another prism flower back there another egg and another prism flower there's another and we'll tap again so far that's 10 eggs 11 12 and a nest that time we'll bring that up there And there's another egg. 
a fruit that time. Another egg and a nest again. Another prism flower and another egg. Hmm, another nest and yet another egg. Ooh, careful. Another egg. Another prism flower. Get rid of that. There's another egg. And another egg and another of the fruit. Another fruit. Get rid of that leaf. I don't need that. Another egg and another fruit. Another egg and another fruit. Another egg. Whoa, careful. Yet another egg. And another one. How far does this go? I need to make some more room. Another egg and a nest that time. There's another egg. Well, let's bring it down here to tap on now. And another egg. Another egg and a nest. It just keeps on giving. There's another egg. And another one. And another one. And another egg. more eggs. I'm just going to tap this out. Okay, so that was the last tap. Let's bring those eggs in. Alright, there's no more of them up there. Didn't have any go down there. Nobody hiding down here. All right, so I got a bunch of nests. And let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. 46 of those golden heart eggs out of that. Wow. I guess that's considered an even merge. We're going to keep one of those aside. All right. Plus, I've got one, the one nest down there. Two, three, four, five, six nests. So figure that's minimum 18 more eggs if each of those only gives three. So, yeah. Quite the hull of goodies out of just one wonder. Questionably, possibly worth the um, investment there. That is a lot of gems though. Alright, let's merge all these eggs. Oh, isn't he cute? 
Aren't you just a little cutie? Not the cutest dragon, but it is adorable. All right, so there you go. That's what is inside of those rosy chocolate bundles, passionate Valentine bundles. You've got 13 days to get those rosy ones and 19 days for the passionate Valentine bundles. Your best value, personally, I think, is that rosy chocolate bundle. Unless you want to get more of the whelps for those golden hearts. And you want the chocolate bonbon whelps as well. Then you might be happy with that passionate Valentine's bundle. If you're just going after those fountains, however, to make this wonder to get all that payout, definitely go with that rosy chocolate bundle because you're starting out at just the cost you would be paying in the shop for a gem egg when it gets closer to a maxed out price. You now, a single gem egg does max out at like 30 gems rather than the 40 that you're paying. But still, you're getting the item for that um, wonder as well. So, worth it? Maybe. I'm kind of happy with it, so decide what you like. Don't break the bank. I'm sure we'll see this somewhere else again someday. And definitely, the dimensional jars will help you along the way with this chain. And save you in the long run. Alright, love y'all loads. Bye for now.